This video will be showing you how to install PowerShell 7 on your machine. So uh, the first thing you need to do is I usually go to Google and I install, look for PowerShell 7. And here you can see the, the Microsoft documentation. It's going to bring you to uh, GitHub to download PowerShell. Then, um, unfortunately, it brings you to the, to this page, which doesn't really seem like has anything, but there at the bottom, the installations. So you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to pick the MSI. There's versions for CentOS, Linux, um, OS X, and all that stuff, ARM64. Debian, Ubuntu, uh, but I'm going to pick the Windows 64-bit uh, for PowerShell 7.1.0, sorry. So once this downloads, you can install it. Come on. All right. You run it, you install it. Default, use the defaults. I highly recommend you do that. This is just a basic installation. Um, you can enable partial remoting uh, that will un allow you to remote into the machine uh, at a later time if you want to. You don't need to have that. Uh, add open here context menu to explore. So for example here, if I go to, I don't know, desktop, and see there's nothing. What this is going to do, the um, open here. It will allow you to right click here and open a new window, a new PowerShell console in this folder. So that's, I highly recommend it. It's very practical. Uh, run with PowerShell 7 context menu. Same idea. Uh, if you have a PowerShell script, this will allow you to right click on it and just run it straight from the from Explorer as opposed to having to start a new uh, window, a new console and run it. So we're going to select all the options. Um, yeah. And we're just going to install it. You may have a user a UAC prompt here. Uh, you have to click yes, obviously. Uh, I don't have that. But just in case you do. And yep, so this is pretty quickly quick, and uh, we can launch PowerShell immediately. And there you go, that's PowerShell 7. You can also find it here, it will show up as PowerShell 7 at the top when you first install it. If you want to find it, it's going to be in PowerShell here. Uh, the other one, obviously, is under Windows PowerShell. So uh, the way to differentiate them right now, the, the quickest way is the native one, built-in Windows one, is blue, and this one is black. And if you want to, if you're not sure, you can always do PS version table, and this will tell you the PowerShell version. So this one is 7.1, and if you do PS version table here, it will give you um, 5.1. whatever. Um, so th this one does look like a command prompt, um, but it is PowerShell. And you can see that it's PowerShell because of the PS in front. Same for this one, PS. So that's it for this. Actually, no. Let me show you this. Now I can do right here, um, PowerShell 7, and I can say open here, and there we go. It will open a new PowerShell window here, straight in this folder. So there's nothing to, you can also open it as administrator, straight from PowerShell, so it's very practical. So yeah, that's it for this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.